want to share with you this illustration from l- last week, but I, I, the reason I'm doing it is because I just want to emphasize so important what, it, what this illustration is getting at. So again, you're looking at this flashlight, empty, human being, not a Christian, human being, perfectly formed, perfectly suited to do everything it was created to do. It's got all the wiring, it's got the housing, it's got the light bulb, it's got everything it needs, exactly like God created the human being in Genesis chapter 2, but there's something missing. What's missing is the power source of life itself. It's the animating power to make this creation do what it was created for. Christ received into the human being. The Holy Spirit received into the human being. And as that human being repents, as that human being recognizes that Jesus is indeed the Son of God, then this thing that was created to do a certain thing is now empowered to be that certain thing and accomplish what it was created for, which is to shine the light of the gospel, to shine the light of the world into the darkness of the world. The potential for this thing to do everything that it was created for is right now finally empowered to do that thing it was created for. Jesus came as the light of the world, and what have we learned? The light of the world lives in you. But as long as we live like this, saved, filled with Christ and his spirit, we have another choice. We have a choice to invite the power source into our life and invite the power source to turn on in our life. And this is what the day of Pentecost was about. Followers of Jesus, having Jesus, the Spirit, in them. Here's the opportunity on the day of Pentecost is to flip the switch. Have you flipped the switch? Are you living in the Spirit in a way that shines the light of Jesus into a dark world?